People across the country and right here putting their day on pause to check out today's total solar eclipse. And we're bringing you team coverage of all the excitement surrounding today's event. Christy Rose is at the Carnegie Science Center where they hosted activities for families and kids and our KDK drone team flying high, getting a look at all the eager eclipse peepers out on the roads. Thanks for joining us at six. I'm Ken Rice and I'm Kim Gable tonight. Our team coverage begins out in Erie, Pennsylvania. Our Megan Schiller was with the crowd that filled that area today. We can now say that they were in the path of totality. Megan, how many cameras did we actually set up to capture what you're about to show us here? Yeah, Kim, it is. It is still bright out here, right? We had a huge setup. I wish I had snagged a picture. We had two big cameras set up on the sun. We had three phones capturing everything. We had a still camera and we also had a camera that's capturing the awesome time lapse video you're about to see here. In the middle of the day, the sky in Erie turned tonight. And this is what a lot of happy people in the path of totality sounds like. It's more than a hype. This is once in a lifetime, and there it is right there. It's been a shed. Woo! People traveled from Maryland, Ohio, Philly, and Virginia. What did you guys think about the whole thing? Uh, it, it was, was it was really fun. I'm very glad he brought us up here. I honestly was not that excited about it. I was thinking we're gonna drive eight hours for three minutes, but <laughs> totally worth it. It was amazing. <laughs> it was the coolest thing ever. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> And even a NASA astronaut, homegrown straight out of North Allegheny, said he wouldn't miss this for anything. What a cool time. It's great to see all the enthusiasm of people out here and a lot of excitement. Enthusiasm is an awesome word to describe what we all experienced here today in Erie. Just a wonderful moment where everyone was feeling together, staring up at something much larger than ourselves. It was a moment that made everyone here in Erie feel really, really small, but in a good way. Back to you in the studio. That's healthy every now and yeah. then, Megan, thanks. <laughs> Our team coverage continues now with Chris DeRose. He spent the afternoon at the Carnegie Science Center with a few thousand Pittsburghers. And even though it wasn't in the path of totality, we still saw and felt some of the effects. Chris. Yeah, good evening. Uh, to piggyback off of what Megan said, enthusiasm, that, that was true here in Pittsburgh as well. Thousands of people showed up here at the Carnegie Science Center for a watch party for the eclipse. And really, they all gathered to see something you don't really get to see every day. The atmosphere was one of celebration as the moon passed between the Earth and the sun. And in fact, there was a countdown leading up to the 3.17 p.m. marker today. And that's the moment when we hit 97 percent totality. We spoke with a lot of people around that time and here's what they had to say about seeing uh, this great event. Well, this is a one in a lifetime kind of situation. Can't take life for granted. Um, the next time that she would be able to see this opportunity, she will be my age, 30. Um, so I definitely wanted to share that experience with my kids. We saw 97 percent totality. What did you guys think? I thought it was awesome. <laughs> I thought it was awesome and I explained to them how all of the, the sun and the moon and the earth lined up together. Then when the countdown started, like the adrenaline was up, the, the crowd was wild, it, it was awesome. I thought it was a nice experience and once in a lifetime I figure I'd come over to see it. I thought it would get darker but you know, for, not, for this it'll be worth it. I might not be here for the next one. So I figure I'll get over here now. Now the Science Center said they sold over 4,000 tickets today and it wasn't just a watch party. There were science games and demonstrations. There was even a viewing party on the big screen in the planetarium. They were tuned into NASA's watch party. They really rolled out the celestial red carpet for this event. It truly was uh, a lot of fun to cover and it was a lot of fun to be here with everyone and experiencing something that for a lot of people's once in a lifetime. Reporting at the Carnegie Science Center, Chris Duros, KDK TV News. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Chris, we appreciate your coverage as well. Thank you. Well, while many school districts adjusted their schedules for today's eclipse, students at three Pittsburgh public schools viewed the eclipse while also collecting data for NASA. Yeah, students were observing living things like insects, birds, even other humans, and recording how they were impacted by the eclipse. 
They're not alone. More than 2,200 students and their teachers from 19 other schools across the country participated in today's data collection. And watch parties were happening all across our region. People gathered at St. Vincent College in Latrobe as the physics department there hosted a special watch party. School providing free eclipse glasses and having special filtered telescopes and projectors for folks to get an up-close look at the celestial event.